Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of the Spongebob Movie Game. Last time we beat the bar stage, the other driving stage after that, and then uh, Mr. Whiskers. But uh, this time, we're doing the rock slide level, and uh, I hate it. I absolutely despise this stage. <laughs> like, this and the, dri and the slide stage after this, they, um, they blow Sand Mountain out of the water for pain and suffering in a slide stage. Like, I mean, in Battle for Bikini Bottom, like, you could have some real bad pain with Sand Mountain and, like, and, like, Sand Mountain and the, um, Kelp Vines, that's what I was trying to remember, but this Rock Slide and then the, um, I don't know what its actual name is, but the, um, the Hose level. Like in the in a shell city, those levels make me want to die inside. And there's a speed run of these areas of 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 both of those areas actually. And they force you to take shortcuts like this. I mean, it's not like I'm missing anything. You're just trying to get to the end, but like. Basically, unless you figure out how to do the shortcuts immediately, you're not beating that speed run. Because they have a speed run later for this level. And I and I over and I over jumped it. There you go. I really. I hate, I hate this area. I hate it. I absolutely loathe it. Mindy said sh No, I, no, I don't let Mindy say anything. Because Mindy is annoying, okay? Mindy is annoying. Get over it. Oh, Jesus. Fucking... You and your bullshit pattern. Alright, there you go. Okay, there we go. I don't know if they also do the same thing as in Battle for Bikini Bottom, where if you die, um, it cancels the speedrun, which... I don't think they would for the- I- I mean... The thing is, I, I remember them doing that for some reason. I just- I remember them doing it. Even though it's a really jerk-headed thing to do, I feel like they do that. Just because. Also, barely any healing items. Because in a really, really long level, you don't need healing items. Oh god, I hate these swap thwapper thingies. Cause I feel like they can attack you. Le left. Okay. You can go left. Left. Middle. Okay, you can only go left in the middle. Okay. Yeah, when I when they force you to replay areas for more goofy goober tokens, sooner or later you're gonna choose this area just because it's a slide stage. You're like, oh, the slide stages are pretty fun. No, this one's not. Okay, well at least there's no stupid snowmen to hit. <laughs> Remember how I could not, for the life of me, figure out where that one snowman was, and then I died. Uh, no, I had seven snowmen. And then I died. That's what I call being total idiots. I mean, I'm just saying. Oh, I feel like... I feel like that was a mistake. Why do I feel like I backtracked to some degree? Yeah, I feel like I've already been here before. Okay, well, apparently I haven't, so that's good, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, never mind, I took the right way. Just don't die here, just don't. There. Good. Shut up, Mindy. Just, just... Everyone here, just stop talking. Just stop talking. Okay. Now that we're men, I hate this level. I really, 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 really hate this level. Yeah, I feel like you only fight Dennis, um... When you get on David... D D D D David Hasselhoff. That just want to be your friend. I'm sorry, SpongeBob. You don't have enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to give you a sponge bowl. Sponge bowl? Uh, will a cereal bowl do? Sorry, SpongeBob. Twenty. Okay, that's a spike. That's a spike because they just hate you. So now you know what you're doing? You're going and playing previous levels. They're not fun. Well, I may as well just do this level. Because guess what? I get to do every friggin' one of these stupid ass levels again. See, if only they didn't immediately whisk you off to the next stage. You know. Like, give me the option of either you want to progress or you want to do the next time challenge. Okay. Then I'd be like, I'll take the time challenge, please. Oh, really? No. Will Squidward save us all? No. Uh, okay. Well, I lost. Yeah, basically, in these time challenges, you make one mistake and you lose. One fucking mistake. Just one. Now here's the thing, even up to the last levels of the game, Mindy straight won't care if you don't have enough gooby, yeah, like if you don't have enough goofy goober tokens. Sorry, SpongeBob, you don't have enough goofy goober tokens. You can't save Bikini Bottom. It's just like, fuck you and your bullshit incentives. You know, that's my m one major criticism I have with this game. The stupid Goofy Goober token requirements. You know, it's like... They didn't design the levels well enough to be, you know... Well, not the levels, just the progression of the game to really support those kind of requirements. If they wanted this to be more of an adaption of the movie, if they wanted to go for a more linear format, then they should have gone all the way with a linear format. Because fucking making me do this stupid driving stage over and over and over isn't funny. Nor is it fun. It's just gonna piss people off. Because in the big because no matter what you try to do to convince people to try to think that these levels are fun and fun and worth your time, there's no amount of convincing you can do for a level like this. To try to get people to just want to play them again and again. Unless you actually put some time and effort into making them engaging. So, like, I don't... I don't know. It's just a really polarizing kind of subject. Because, like, on one hand, I like this game. You know, it's a natural follow-up to, um... To Battle for Bikini Bottom, you know. 
But is it a worthy successor to Battle for Bikini Bottom? Unfortunately, I don't think it is. It's just... It doesn't have all the things that made Battle for Bikini Bottom so fun. Well, then again, Battle for Bikini Bottom had had the same requirements. However, you, you didn't, you know, you could you could go about it any way you wanted, you know. You could, you know, spend all your time and get all the golden spatulas, or you could just play through... You could just play through the levels and, you know, do all this stuff. But, you know, it, it was your choice in Battle for Bikini Bottom. Here, like, unless you pretty much know how to get through most of the intro stages 100%, you're gonna have to do some backtracking. Which, in Battle for Bikini Bottom, they pretty much never force you to backtrack in that game, because... The game is set up to where you can tackle it pretty much any way you want, and just as long as you get to those requirements, which is very simple to do, mind you, you wouldn't lose. Like, you wouldn't have to go back to a previous world again just to take a stab at, at, at getting enough, you know, golden spatulas, like, in that game, you know. The only, like, real area you would have struggle keeping up with the goals are with uh, Area 3, because, you know, it's like... You might not want to play Kelp Forest, or, you know, maybe if you're like me, you know, you don't want to play Kelp Forest and Rock Bottom, so, like, you skip those levels, but then you can't end up playing Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, so, you know, you're kind of conflicted, so then you either have to 100% the areas you did play and like, or, or you have to, um, suck it up and play the levels you don't like, you know. Speaking of, uh, pointless rings, you know what game this is indicative of? Superman 64. I don't want Superman 64 in my Spongebob game. I don't. Spongebob Squarepants and Superman 64 do not mix. Oh, shit. Wow, wow, wow. No, oh my God! Are you kidding me? That reversal is so fucking stupid. No. no. I ref I, I straight... I don't want to play that again. I don't. I'm going to, but I don't want to. See, that's bullshit. Why are you making me do this? Fuck these challenges. But guess what? You have to do them. Because eventually Mindy's going to be like, you don't even know, have you were choking. It's like, what the fuck does that matter? Just because you want to teach them a move? No. You're using goofy goober tokens to buy a bowling ball. That's what you're doing. Can you just teach them how to do it like a rock or something? You know, time is of the essence, lady. You know, if they actually did this kind of bullshittery in the movie, it wouldn't have been a good movie. Hell, there are some people who don't even like the original movie. And, you know, it's understandable because, you know, it just, that movie could not live up to seasons two and three. It couldn't. You know, like, pretty much no movie of any animated series, discounting anime, probably was able to beat its original series. There's no cartoon that can pull that off because when you make a movie of something it's highly exasperated like do you really expect something like Rugrats in Paris to get the exact uh, know-how of how to make something good like the original Rugrats did of course it won't Well, that's it. I lost. All right. Fuck this challenge. Fuck this fucking challenge. Why is it that you make one mistake and have to do the whole thing again? One mistake. One mistake. That's so frustrating. That's so fucking frustrating to me. I'm upset. Well, 
yeah oh yeah also slide levels and time challenges already don't mix like you saw how badly it went during sand mountain in battle for bikini bottom in this game when levels are longer and more drawn out these levels get aggravating really really aggravating see that's my main complaint with this game unless you're playing this game like because like a, when you're just trying to when you're just regularly playing through the levels you know it might get a little annoying here and there but for the most part you're good you know you're gonna have a good time with this game when you're trying like especially anyone who's attempted to 100% this game like I commend the people who can 100% this game but it's because of these fucking challenges like the time ring and macho challenges there I cannot 100% this game because of those like I just I just I can't I cannot and will not do it because I'm not gonna waste all my sanity on something that just doesn't matter to begin with I mean about for bikini bottom you know I had the that was that was just a few notches and now I have to start the entire level over the entire level again that is frustrating that is so frustrating and these are mo these are the moments where you realize that a lot of areas in this game are just way too freaking hard they're just so hard for no reason like why is this being so difficult leave me alone <laughs> i'm grumpy leave me alone <laughs> Please. Please. Yeah, wait till not. Yeah. Thank you. Wait till 9 at night before we do this. Do this. Just so that I get to spend the rest of the night with you. I get to spend the rest of the night doing that. You just couldn't. You couldn't do it when we got home. No, when you got home. Recording interruptions. My favorite. Like, I don't know if I had such a pessimistic tone during Battle for Bikini Bottom. Like, at points I did. But, like, for the most part, you know, I was able to shake it off and have fun. This game, mm mm. Unless you know what you're doing, like, at some point you're going to get angry. You're going to get so frustrated. I saw that and thought it was a shortcut. No, hella, it's a shortcut. Nope. Nope, it's not a shortcut. I now get to start the entire level over. I get to start the entire level. <sighs> 17 minutes. I mean, look at this. It's just... You know what? I feel like I want to do this stuff off screen. Like, I swear to God. There's no reason to, to watch this. It's, it's just the same levels done over and over and over and over. It's the same exact levels done to death like I swear to god I wouldn't care you know if I had to 100% this game like these other areas just to get these challenges done just to do this like like if I get this challenge done great but it's like I'm gonna have to finish this stuff off screen because there's no way I'm not gonna waste my time no, I'm not going to waste my time. I'm not going to waste your time doing this. Because your time is more valuable than mine. <laughs> I don't know. Both of our times are valuable. So, you know. Time is a valuable thing, so. Personally, I don't like wasting it on this stupidity. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Yeah, that's the start of the level, so there's no shortcuts. Okay. Okay, that's it. I'm done. S screw this. Mm -mm. I'll see y'all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.